Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Tales of Bazaria. Bazaria? Bazaria? I still have troubles with that. So we were on the ship last, so we're just gonna talk to everyone. Now that was a right old conflagration. Mm -hmm. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. Uh, we yeah, certainly they will. didn't leave them much of a port though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Magilu's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel. I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. Yeah, I can see why. Because Magilu is being a bitchy foo. What? What are you gonna do? What's he up to, handsome? You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've mm -hmm. unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Exactly. We'll our to you. destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. I know Besides, he does. If we keep sailing this way. Uh, we keep sailing this way, what? Cutscene! Don't you love him? Velvet! How's our heading? <sighs> this is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh? Yeah. Velvet! There you go. The heading's fine. Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not your real head. name. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? That's what she said. Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? No. Uh, right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. That's kind of fucked. In that case, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> We're getting cannon fire. Cannon fire astern! <coughs> pirates! That flag. It's got to be Ifrit's pirate crew. They've got a bead on us, folks. And in case you hadn't noticed, we aren't really <laughs> equipped for sea combat. Well, we'll just kick their ass. Oh, I'll just mute that. To land, then. We can fight them there. Oh, now we're on land. <laughs> it's nice and simple. Huh. Uh, excuse me. Look at that. They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. Who the fuck is this? It'll be me. No, I'm the Reaper. Okay. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades, and paper. No pendulum that I can see. At least we're getting some assistance. 
I'm just waiting for my shit to recharge. But we're at least we're at least doing pretty well. Yep. Oh god. You passed the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. Okay, cry me a, cry me a river. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Got a, got a point. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. So what? We're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business. And ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I noticed he has a stupid fucking bird on his hat. I've, I've noticed that. Mm-hmm. This defense goes through the roof. I'll do that. Hmm. I'll see you. Plain paper. Okay. What's your take on this? Tragically, your favorite Magalu. is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the King <laughs> of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the gates is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the narrows? There Probably is, not. so to speak. But it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. You have no fucking hope. <laughs> 69. And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure mm -hmm. put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? The I know. pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True mm -hmm. enough. If forward lies destruction, and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! 
And yet you don't feel like helping out. No. I sure don't. I just want to smile. That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The king exactly. Of Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Huh. We both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. Okay, that's what I was, you know, planning on doing. Just because. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 70. Shit. Earth ring. <laughs> Just do a nice little. Nice little save. Oh, that, that burp was just horrible. It's just so bad. <coughs> that burp was horrid. Now, what's inside? That looks like a scorpion. And so let's just get some of these fights on. At least I can just get this all going. Come on, buddy. Let's kill this thing. There we go. Good job. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Void element. Okay. That was pretty something. That was something pretty. I guess. <laughs> eh, at least I'm just getting experience and items. That's all I really need. At least the creatures aren't too bad to handle. But the items that I'm getting are quite lackluster. So there's only so much I could really do about it. What the fuck is that? Those are seeds? Thunder Blitz. At least shit's dying reasonably fast. Come on, really? Twelve percent bonus. Fuck off, guys. <clears throat> We're at 81 right now. So where's this dickhead supposed to be? Jiggle physics. <laughs> what? So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. Ooh. I know that coin. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Okay. Works for me. I land on tails. I'll flip it to heads on my own.
Your name? Velvet. Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To yeah. put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. Mm -hmm. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <laughs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. Sounds good to me. Seems like Velvet just has her own, like... I don't want to say luck. But she just has this, like... A... I'm trying to think of a proper word. Like, atmosphere? I guess? Before she can just sway, sway the tide? Because that is that is the Reaper that we just talked to. Sorry, I'm just chewing on some nerds. He's had a little sweet tooth. But you know, with, you know, anything that's Ember paper? Hmm. That's a little weird. But I guess we'll do just fine. Huh? Well, well, let's just see where we need to go. Look at all these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you okay. really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Uh, we have no other no, choice. But we're also demons and Malakim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. We are not exactly normal ourselves. Burning vines. That was a little cheap and lackluster, but who cares? Who fucking cares? You fucking scorpions are slow as dick. But you guys don't really offer too much of a fight either, so... I like going right rather than up. But let's just see where this takes us. Just because these caves tend to be like... Fucking huge. I whispered that on purpose. Just, just so you didn't think you could be wrong mindset. Holy mother of God. That was a lot of cat souls. That was a lot of fucking cat souls. The kid's awfully quiet. Do you think maybe there's something wrong with him? No, the kid's just normally quiet. Number two's quiet. always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing, then. Not even remotely. Kid notices something. Uh. But... You all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Eisen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. He noticed something. 
Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me because guess, that's kid. Lafayette. You were bound by an exorcist? Ah, I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malachim have individual personalities, just like humans. Okay. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malachim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> Listen, kid. If you're ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in trouble? See, the kid doesn't understand what trouble is because he's Malachim. And what was just talked about. You said exorcists bind Malachim's free will. And here we go. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time. And we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malachim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malachim aren't mere objects. Exactly, there. Malachim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Arturius is concerned, Malachim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. That's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. He's never going to live that down, which I can't blame her. I can't fucking blame her. I can't blame her at all. Because what happened to her is not right. I'm not, and I'm not trying to speed run this. Just because... So I did go the wrong way. Oh, that's only gonna add like another minute. Oh well. Oh, that's what it ends with. Oh, that's as long as the saying goes. I like how I like how they stick to the roof, or to the ceiling. It it adds a nice little. Texture? I like it. Nice little skew to how it would actually be. But I'm just trying to collect as many of these cat souls I, that I can. Like this. And it fucking bamboozled me. How nice. It seems like I don't have the ability to long jump just yet. <clears throat> just seems to be the one thing that I'm missing. <clears throat> Luckily these dungeons are, you know, long. <laughs> I like how she just like throws her arm. She's like, yeah. Four fragments. Ah, oh, save point. It's a, it's a, it's late, but this is like where I'm going to have to call it just because, you know, it's practically midnight and I gotta get going because I gotta be up early in the morning. But, uh, thank you everyone for, you know, just checking out everything and just stopping by. Uh, I am gonna have to get going, as I said. The playtime is actually pretty cool. Four hours and ten minutes and we're... Making a pretty good dent in the game, but uh, as I said, I do have to get going because I need to get up early in the morning. So thank you everyone for watching. 
stay tuned for the next episode and i shall see you guys later on adios